Sir Kel, first of all, for you, you surpassed 2,000 point marks tonight. Obviously, not the result that you guys wanted, but what does that say about your career and what you've been able to accomplish? Oh, man. I like to give credit to, to Mayor Bell, first of all, and the coaches and teammates throughout my career that believed in me. So, man, it's a blessing. Dr. Hill, you guys are 12 and 3 in games where you score ACC games. Do you score 70 or more? Off, usually much more, like against Wake Forest. What made it difficult to, to get your tempo tonight? I mean, we just, we just couldn't get stops, so I feel like. And we're going to go back, prepare the rest of the week, watch film, and we'll get better. DJ, how would you describe the matchup with Lively and also your first experience playing in this atmosphere? Oh, yeah. Um, I actually played here my freshman year, but um, I did um, He's a great athlete, you know. Um, he fills their role well, but they need to do it. He gets it done. And it doesn't work. Charkel, how did they defend you differently today than from the first game? Uh, not necessarily you, but the whole team. I feel like they um, they hedged out with their five man harder. They stayed a little longer. Uh, made the guards get the ball up uh, on the opposite end, and it worked well for them tonight. DJ, you were four or five in the first half and wound up six for 15. Um, they started playing. Young and you know, use three different guys on you. What impact did their size have on your second half and their depth? Uh, the double team, um, it's a little harder. You can double team by two seven footers to you know see things. So this is what it is. You guys made the late push. There it was uh, down nine, I think a minute and a half. Did you guys still have confidence? Thought you could uh, pull it out? Yeah, for sure. Um, as long as we play, we think we can win. So. We didn't bat an eye. We knew we were going to come out, give it our best shot, then go our way. But that didn't mean we were going to not try. I know this is fresh, but the resume you guys have built, the season you've had, just kind of reflect on that. What do you think of it? Oh, man, it's, it's been a blessing, man. The, um, this new team, they gelled together great. Um, transfers, me and DJ, Jack, Deshaun. Fortunately, he got hurt, but, man, we gelled together great. Uh, a lot of work put in since August, since May, next week. DJ's my roommate, Jack's my roommate. We always have talks about what we do this season. And we still got one more to go. Either of you guys, you, you don't play this weekend. You got And so you've got a whole week to prepare for the tournament. Is that a good thing? I mean, do you need that time, or would you rather get back out there and play? I feel like with this team, is, we mature. So I feel like that's a good thing. You know, rest. Man, I'm, I've been playing college ball forever. So, I <laughs> so man, um, we're going to get in the gym. Like I said, watch film. Coach gave us our schedule basically, and we're going to attack it. First time all season that you guys have had consecutive losses. I mean, how frustrating is it to end the regular season that way, but also knowing that you still have the tournament ahead? Uh, I mean, it's very frustrating losing any game, but you know, this one hurts us because it was our, you know, it's the last one. You know, I wanted that for my guys who don't have the eligibility to come back next year or maybe moving on, you know. So um, we just really wanted that real bad for them, and you know. Kind of feels like a letdown a little bit, but you know we're gonna bounce back from it tonight to fill us on Wednesday. DJ, what did it mean to have Jack back? His defense, the hitting the offensive glass, the cutting. How, how did it feel having him back in the lineup tonight? Uh, that's my brother. It felt amazing having him back. You know, he um he comes in and he might not say too much or show too many facial expressions, but he's going to work one of the hardest people who just working hard on the court. You know, every time. So anytime that we can have him in the game, you know, it's always a good look for us. Charkel, what happened to you in the first half when you when you got hurt? Um, the, the stanchion behind, behind, I stepped back too far and I stepped on the thing. And I, um, I just hurt my, I tweaked it a little bit. And at my athletic training, I taped it up a little, a little harder. And I was hoping to come back and play. Were you worried when it happened that you hurt it pretty bad? Oh, yeah. I, 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 thought, I, I thought I hurt it pretty bad. Um, I felt it kind of pop a little bit, but um, I'm blessed that it wasn't big of an injury. I was worried. <laughs> the last few games haven't been the best for Quavion. Like how much confidence do you guys have in him to keep, uh, to keep shooting the ball and such? Man, he's, man, he's a pro, man. Uh, I, I stated earlier in one of my interviews, man, he don't have no conscience. So, man, um, we're going to get in the gym this week and shake it off. And we basically got a new season Wednesday. DJ, what were you saying to, to Quavion in that scrum in the second half? Oh, I was just reminding them, you know, you got to tell uh, I mean, I say a little more passionately than that. <laughs> uh, I was like, you know, you, you can't be in that. You got to tech. We don't need you getting another one because he's on the court. So. Good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.